Fantastic action here in Dubai. The Kenyan women booking their place in the Challenger final. Will that provide inspiration for this Kenyan men's team who are up against Uruguay? A rare treat for the fans who are joining us. Thank you for joining us around the world. And the fans in Dubai will get to see an Olympic precursor. Both of these teams qualified for Paris 2024. Kenya, the ninth team to do it. Both of them winning their regional competition. So a little bit of a taste to the biggest sevens event of the year. I'm Gareth Reese. Delighted to be bringing you this action. We've had a great three days in Dubai. Part of the World Rugby HSBC Sevens Challenger event here. And that is the body of work for Kenya. And the Uruguayans as well. Both sides with three solid wins. Earning their spot here in the semi-final. Uruguay going through Tonga in their quarterfinal last night. And the Kenyans getting over Japan. The Brave Blossoms will be Chao Ricardo, the Brazilian, on the whistle in charge of this match. And we are all good to go here. This is going to be a very interesting match. South America, Africa fighting for Challenger Series points. And that man will need to have a big part of... Los Teros from Uruguay in the blue jerseys have success. And it is Guillermo Lichtenstein who starts us with a kickoff. Early possession for Kenya. So dangerous out wide. Any missed tackles will be punished. And a strong carry there from Kevin Wakesa. Parking run, powerful footwork. Stolen. The referee suggesting that Diego Ardau was offside. Ball may have been out, but it won't matter. Penalty's been awarded. Little discussion from the Kenyan leadership as to what they're going to do. And the Sati signals they want to choose a scrum. Samuel Asati got a try already here. The Kenyans will be without Festus Shiasu Safari, who picked up a red card in their quarterfinal victory over Japan last night. Equally, some injury concerns about Felipe Alcas Perez, who already has five tries here in Dubai. We'll keep an eye whether he's deemed fit or not for Uruguay. Hold, no, no, hold. Play the ball. Sloppy scrum there as the head pops up. Penalty to Kenya. They go quickly. Great tackle from Vinyals. Tackle complete. The knees on the ground. Kenya shaking at the blind side. The show and go from Odongo Agongo. He's been doing it all weekend. And he sides through the Uruguayan defense for the opening try for Kenya. Well, Patrick Odongo Okongo has got six already. This is his seventh, crucially, in the cup semi-final here. As Omundi adds the extras to make it a seven-pointer. But look at the turn of pace. It shows that way. Catches Amaya fighting on that dummy. And then he powers it through. But let's keep an eye at the end. It looks to like he may have pulled up lame. Maybe a tweak in the hamstring area. Let's see if he can play any further part. Yeah, a little bit of a limp as he comes out of that. And he's getting some treatment there. That would be a huge loss for Kenya. We've seen how dangerous he can be. He's going to go back to his right wing. Kenya kicking off long and high. Hanging kick really well. Tap back. By Vaso. Right here. The knock ons have blown up. Referee Ricardo. Going to give Uruguay the set scrum. You must support the pressure. You cannot leave before. No, we're not leaving. To pick him. Just respect the space. Crowns. Uruguay competed in the 2022 Five. Challenger final. Set. And booked their place as core Hold status right. for 2023, but go. Were relegated last year after their Play on. competition in London at the end of the season. So. They need these challenger points. There's the kick and chase. And a stumble from the Uruguayan defender means that 
Ogongo is in again. What a start for Kenya. Well, the hamstring looked pretty good there as that one sat up nicely for Patrick Odongo of Congo. Watch here. Uruguayan tries to turn on this and just falls down to the left of your screen. So he's out of the play. In the end, Odongo of Congo just has to wait on it, get the bounce. He gets his second. Nice strike from the sideline and the flag goes up. They love it. Shuzo Rugby is flying high. Two scores in four minutes. A little bit more treatment. I suppose a little more tolerance when you're scoring tries at will. He's going to stay on yet again, and why not? Time back on. He got two tries in the African final, which booked him their Olympic spot. That victory over South Africa, 17 points to 12. Knock on the Again, another knock on. So we'll have a knock Uruguay on will have possession. Every time on pressure. I mentioned we just saw the Kenyan women's side book their place in the Dubai Challenger final. Seems to have inspired the men. Blind. Set. Hold. Inside. Now. Set scrum. Vicky signed to feed. Up. Thank you so much for your comments. I don't need more. Thank you so much. <laughs> a little bit of secondary referee. Thanks to again. Yeah, my legs time. Just respect for the ball. There you go. Inside. Crouch. When you get to this level, especially when the hardware is out on day three in Dubai, the set piece work, the lineups, kickoffs, and the scrums are always so important. Can you look into this rep? This time goes blindside. Nice footwork. Outstanding pace and power from Alvarez. He's finally brought down the kick pass. Oh, down. Oh, wide. There's space. Uruguay looking to exploit. There's two men out there. Amaya push it out wide. Deco. The ball's ripped loose. Release for us. So because the referee deemed it to be a tackle, the Kenyan player is not allowed to rip that ball. It's going to allow the Uruguayan player to present. So a bit of a relief. Explosive breakout from Uruguay. This is it here. So referee deems tackle here because it needs to the ground. So he has to release. Not much in it. I'm sure Kevin Wakesa would see it differently. Pace on that pass. Midfield hit up from Alvarez. Very quick whistle for holding on. Decision. The Brazilian referee wants to just lay out his stall as to what's acceptable and what's not. Again, a little discussion for the Kenyans, and they've chosen a scrum. So if you're a little bit new to sevens rugby, although they're deep in their own end, so much. Great tactic to take the scrum, force those guys, Uruguayan players to come in. Thank you so much. Two captains. More space Thank for the so strike for runners out wide. Play. I'm for Kenya. Crouch. Blind. Sati to put in. Set. Hold here. He's not averse to running off the base of the scrum. We'll see what he does in the nine jersey. Well, there goes the hooter. We're going to have the ball in play, and he's released it. And they're going to take it up the back. Kenya happy with this 14-point lead. An impressive start from them. Pace and power. Kenya up 14-0 over Uruguay. Kenya in their red jerseys kicking off from left to right. Uruguay receiving and needing something, needing possession. And an early strike here as they're down two converted tries. But they won't have the ball. That's great work in the air by the Kenyan aerialist has got possession. And off the ball. Didn't quite see it, but absolutely no resistance. Turn back on is Kronkow Red. The Uruguayan player, I think it may have been a knock on on the pass. The, uh, gathering up the Time loose ball here, the please. pass goes out. And he sticks his hand out. Oh, he tries to trip we him. Sorry. Listen to me, please. Yeah, and we his hands up. That formation. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a yellow so card for foul play. When the ball is in, 
you can play tolerance to that. I think it was just really an instinct from Vinyaus, a, a reflex okay. action. Fine. There you go. Uruguay will be one short. Their task Time all the more difficult. The glorious opportunity Fine. for the Kenyans with three in the scrum and a scrum Set. half in place. There's an unmarked man in their backfield. Where will they attack? It's okay. Good work tying it up at the breakdown. Now they can spread the field. The blue jerseys set up the wall, but there are only six of them in it. But what can you do? Unmarked man out wide. They found him into space. The bounce is up for Maitza. He's still dancing. He's still stepping, but brought down. Fresh off the bench is John Okov. Nice footwork again. Asaki still going up to the 22. Looks for an offload. Wisely decides to keep it. Keep the pressure on and on around the corner. Guess who? Patrick Odongo. Okongo. Well, if you're going to pull out a hat trick in the Challenger Series, why not do it in the Cup semifinal? Again, good decision making by his teammates and the pace mismatch. Too much for Uruguay. Well, this Kenyan team, such a great sevens presence over the air. We talked about London in May at the end of last HSBC Sevens World Series. They, for the first time in 23 years, were knocked off as a core status team. Tears all around. That's where the Uruguayans, Canada prevailed in that match against Kenya, 12 points to seven, retaining their status. But just incredible fans, great players, great memories on the seven series. 2016, they lifted the title wait, wait, wait. in Singapore. A wonderful mark in the history. Yeah, the time off. Six off. Of the HSBC Sevens Give World Series. And this new generation of Kenyans trying to get them back to the big dance. This is how you do it, getting challenger points. They're going to, on, they can hold no, on to this score line and advance to the final. Release now. Uruguay have to make up three converted tries in just over four minutes. No, 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 no. Stay All back. still in. Ardau arrives a little late. Well, credit the Kenyan defense. They're working really hard for each other. Uruguay, although they're back to full strength, finding it difficult to find any holes in this red wall. Now, out wide to Blasiones, kind of a super sub, can make things happen, but there's a lot that needs to happen for Uruguay to book a final. Or Dow, another man, puts his team on his back. That ball hits the referee. It'll be a set scrum for Uruguay. Number 14, making his way onto the pitch for Uruguay, is Gaston Mirez. And another super sub. Thank you so much. The 34-year-old Gaston Mirez entering the pitch. The great playmaker. Can you continue? There you go. There's Ardau. Looked like he created something here, but they come back in field, and in the pass, comes off the referee. Crowd. Find. Set. Please. Important scrum. Uruguay hold it. Oh, it's broken up. Penalty against Kenya. Quick tap. Flaciones off and running. Not able to release it out wide. Good work from Braciones to secure the ball. Really busy for the Kenyans, but they've been fractured again. Braciones, tap and go. Not 10 is the call. There'll be an advantage and maybe even a card here. But in the corner, goes Bautista Basso. Uruguay are on the board. There you go. There's not going to be a yellow card. Oh, there is a yellow card. Apologies. Yes, never come back. So, a little bit of hope here. Just over two minutes. Uruguay will need this conversion. But as Kenya not getting back to the line, professional foul deal. Batusto jumps up and over the top. Basso's in the corner. Conversion slides wide. So, even more work to do. This would require a small miracle. Three scores for Uruguay. 
They will have the player advantage. We'll see what happens. Little nudge kick, a little bit too deep. Well gathered by John O'Koth. Now Kenya can just work through their phases and watch this clock tick down. Or they can go on the outside. The big fan from George Otto. Backwards. It's back in field. Backwards was the call. Too good to be true. I don't know if it's going to matter, but it was a gift try. Time is off. We'll have subs. Blue 30. Well, the 23-year-old George Otto, first year in the program. This one was not deemed a knock-on, and then just took his eye off the ball, and he got a mouthful from his teammate. He wanted to run it in with him. King George of Suba, as he's known, steaming down that far sideline is a scary sight. The last penalty was for a leave early. His debut the before the game. The end of 2022. Well, 16 points to deficit. Those Teros from Uruguay. Bind. Just over a minute to get it done. Set. Inside. Booker. That's a more stable scrum. Lichtenstein across the face. Chips it wide. Wide flat one. Gaston Mirez. Great feet on him. They regroup. Amaya. Mirez in the nine hole. Extra man out wide. Anyala's in the bin, so... Uruguay should be able to find an edge somewhere. Ardao. This is good width. It is straightening up the middle. Not able to find an offload. Now they get some space. And it is Amaya, but the pass is deemed forward. So not much going Uruguay's way here in the cup semifinal. But credit the big Kenyan defense. Shoes are rugby. Four pass. We'll make it to the final here. In Dubai. Excuse me, Mark. Well, there's the hooter. Let's go. We will have one last scrum. The fans are loving it. Crowds. Bind. They literally are all over the world, no matter where we go at Sevens events. Suja Spirit's alive and well through the Kenyan fans. They're going to get it off the field, and they've booked their place. Kenya will be in the final here in Dubai at the Challenger event. They win this one 21 points to 5 over Uruguay.